Hi, my name is Dominique. And I'm Cindy, and we're here at Wild Suites in Richmond, BC. Uh, we've been in business for many years. So we've been in North Van, but we've been here for about seven, seven or seven. eight, yeah, seven years. We were ranked uh, one of the 24 best chocolatiers in the world by a fellow called uh, Gore Bernardini. He wrote a chocolate book um, that is uh, the review over hundreds of brands and thousands of products all over the world. It was similar to a Michelin guide where you had to have one, two, three Michelin stars, but being a chocolate book, it was one, two, six Coco Pods. And in order to be ranked one of the best, you had to have the maximum and only 25 or 24 companies in the world uh, got that rating. In Canada, there was only one other company in Toronto and, and us. So we make chocolate from bean to bar. When you think of a chocolatier, they buy chocolate from large manufacturers and they melt it down and then they make their own products. They make their own fillings, but they don't actually make the chocolate. But we make our chocolate from bean to bar, so we process it ourselves. Every batch is different. It's just like wine when you buy grapes. Um, the beans this year may be drier or, or more moisture, more acidic, or have different flavors, so every year it's different. We source out the beans from different regions. We get some from Peru, um, Venezuela, Mexico. Uh, they're fermented at the farms. We get them in bags and then we process them. So we roast them, we winnow them. So we remove the husk and break down the beans into nibs. Then we take the nibs and we put it into a, what we call a shearer. It's a machine that grinds the chocolate. It's heated and the heat melts the cocoa butter. And then that is called cocoa liqueur. Then we do the um, conching, which is a process to remove some of the bitterness from the chocolate as well as making a more smooth uh, paste. And then we'll let the chocolate age sometime between three to six months, depending on uh, the type of varietals of the chocolate. From there, we'll make it into bars or chocolates. And there are a few more steps in between, but it's just, that's basically what we do. We want to create everything that it's not, it hasn't been made anywhere else. We, for example, when we make um, our um, chocolate sculptures, we create our own mold markers and then cast them so that we can create pieces that no one else has. Only we create them, custom make them, and use them for our own products. So again, if somebody buys something from Wild Sweets or looks at any of our cake design, uh, chocolate, it's all our own. The name Wild Sweets came actually um, as a result of the cookbook that we wrote. And uh, the cookbook was called uh, Wild Sweets Exotic Dessert of One Pairing. We use a lot of ingredients that are inspired by nature. So quite a few of them come from nature, mushrooms and, and other ingredients. Ginseng. Ginseng, uh, squash, and quite a few things that would be not necessarily wild from the, the source itself, the coming out from the wilderness and woods and so on, but wild for being not ingredients you would think of when you're thinking of dessert. We try to come together and make a theme for example we'll do like uh, the harvest theme or for our christmas theme we had ice wine collections so we had a vintage ice wines that we had for many years and we decided to include them into our uh, chocolate collections we did uh riesling Fidel, Fidel, cabernet franc and gris yeah i have a hard time saying that word but <laughs> my favorite chocolate is typically some a chocolate that has some nuts and it has a little bit of texture so something like a, it's called a praline uh, filling. Mine would be the popcorn, the uh, salted butter caramel popcorn, and we roll it in our own uh, bean to bar milk chocolate. It comes in a little, we call snacking jar, and most of the people say like, that doesn't even last me five minutes. That would be my favorite. So what we want to do is to not necessarily think of uh, everything but the kitchen sink to shock with ideas of flavor combination, but more to be where we have products that we can purchase like the cocoa beans and do things with it that makes our chocolate distinctly unique from anything else around the world. You don't eat sweets or chocolate for your daily intakes of uh, vitamins and minerals. You do it for pleasure. We want to get the people to feel that they are getting something that they can't get somewhere else. We want them to feel the passion that we mm -hmm. have about what we craft. The idea that we yeah. want is just to create that emotion that it is a, a, a very unique and hopefully very delicious product. Oh, many years. We've, uh, We've been in business. Oh. <laughs> I'm new at this. 